Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will understand how to write a C program to find the average of three integer numbers. And we will see how to do that using implicit and explicit type casting. So let's understand what is the problem statement. So our input and output will look like this. So we will be asked to enter three numbers. So we will be entering three integer numbers, 2, 5, 12. Let's say we entered these numbers. Now the average of these 2, 5, 12 is 6.33. How? As you know, average is sum of all the numbers divided by total numbers. So here we have to find the average of three numbers. So we first find the sum of all these numbers, 2, 5, 12, and then we divided it by 3. So the sum is 19 divided by 3. We will get 6.33. So we have just printed the answer till two places. So our answer is 6.33. Now, if we enter the numbers as 1, 3, 8. So the sum of 1, 3, 8 is 12. So 12 divided by 3, it will be 4. So we will be printing 4.0. That is, we will be entering three integer numbers and then we will be printing the average. If average is float number, then we will be printing that float number completely. And if it's just integer number, so in this case, 1, 3, and 8, here the average is 4. So we will be printing just 4.0. So I hope you have understood the question that we are given three integer numbers. We will not be given any float numbers as the input. So let's see our first approach. In this approach, we will not use any type casting. So as you know, average of n numbers is sum of all those n numbers divided by n. So let's write the program in our ID and see whether we are getting the correct solution or not. So here I have written the structure of the C program. I have first included the header file as so that I can use printf and scanf function. Then I have written the int main and inside int main I have written the return 0 as the last statement. So first we will take the input that is we will take the three integer numbers and then we will find the average of those numbers and after that we will print that average. So to take the three numbers, we have to first declare three variables. So we will take three variables and as the question says, we have to take three integer numbers. So I will take three integer variables. So I take int a, b, c. You can take any name of the variables. Now we will take the data inside this a, b, c using scanner. So I will just print the message to the user that enter the numbers. And now I will use scanf function and inside scanf I will take three inputs percentile d, percentile d, percentile d because all the variables are integers. Then m% percent a, m% percent b and m% percent c. Now we have to find the average. Now average will be in the float form because our question says we have to print the average in the float form. So I will take a float variable. So I will say float avg. So avg is denoting that it will store the average of three numbers. So now I will write that average equal to sum of a, b and c divided by three because we have three numbers. So a, b, c will be added and it will be divided by three. The answer will be stored inside the average. And now I will print the average using percentile f format. So I will say print a percentile f then average. So this should print my answer which is stored inside average. So let's see, is it working? So now we have to enter the three numbers. So let's say I enter two, then five, and let's say third number is 12. So my answer should come as 6.33 as we have seen, but my answer is coming as 6.0. That means the answer after the decimal point is not coming correct. So it is just giving me six. So let's enter some another integer numbers and see, let's say I entered one, 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, then again 3. So the total sum will be 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 6. And 6 by 3, it will be 2. So I should get 2.0. Yes, I am getting 2.0. So here I am getting correct answer. That means if there is no fractional part in the sum divided by 3, then my answer is correct. But if my answer is like 6.33, then 0.33 will be truncated. It will not be printed and I will be just getting 6.0. So that means I'm not getting the correct answer as I want. So what is the reason? So let's see. So problem is here A, B, C. 
all are integer and 3 is also integer so if i add a b c that is if i add all the three integer numbers i will be getting the integer sum so let's say my a b c are 2 5 12 so 2 5 12 will give me 19 as the sum so 19 divided by 3 that is 19 is also integer 3 is also integer and in c we know integer upon integer i will get a integer answer so i will get 6 only i will not get 6.33 so from here i will get 6 now this 6 is going inside average and what is the data type of average it is float so that 6 will be type casted to 6.0 it will become float so if you do not know what is typecasting then you can see my video on the typecasting you can find that link in the video description also and in the i card button also so here the average will store 6.0 that's why i am getting 6.0 and i am printing using percentile a somehow if i get here let's say a is 1 b is 2 and c is 3 then i will get 6 6 divided by 3 it will be 2 and 2 will be stored inside average it will be like 2.0 so here in case of 2 there is no fractional part so in this case i will get the correct answer so this is the reason that i am not getting the correct answer the reason is here integer divided by integer i will get only the integer part not the fractional part so how can i resolve this problem so what i can do is i can make any of the numerator or denominator as floats so let's say i make 3 as 3.0 so now 3.0 will be a float number so here numerator is integer a plus b plus c will give me integer answer and 3.0 is float so integer upon float i will get float answer so in case of let's say a b c will give me 19 and divided by 3.0 i will get 6.33 as the average so 6.33 is generated from here and this 6.33 is going inside average so it will safely go inside average as 6.33 so there is no truncation of 0.33 after 6 so here 6.33 will be printed so let's see it so let's say i enter 2 5 and 12 and yes our answer is coming as 6.33 and this is the correct answer so what we can do is we can just print till two decimal places using percentile 0.2f 0.2f is saying that after decimal just print two places only so now let's see 2 5 and 12 so yes 6.33 is coming and this is the correct answer so what i have used is here we have done the implicit type casting so we have just made the denominator as float using implicit type casting so when the compiler will see this 3.0 in denominator it will generate the float answer for this expression so I have used implicit typecasting here. Now there is one another way to do the implicit typecasting. What you can do is you can just say 3 multiply some float value. So you will multiply by 1.0. Why? So that this 3 remains just as 3 but it will be converted to 3.0. Clear? So again it is 3 into 1.0 is 3.0 but this is the another way so here 3 is integer 1.0 is float so this 3 will be converted to 3.0 and it will be multiplied by 1.0 so this will become as 3.0 and again the same calculation will happen and we will get the correct answer now there is second way also we can do this question using explicit type casting also and the idea is same that we have to make either numerator or denominator as float so here in this question we can also make this sum a plus b plus c as float also we can here do the same calculation as a plus b plus c into 1.0 here also and then also our answer will come correct so you can do this by yourself now we come to the explicit type casting again i have found the average and then printed that answer so what i will do is this will print my answer using implicit type casting now here i will use explicit type casting we have to tell the compiler explicitly using type casting operator that we want to use explicit type casting and how we can do it we have to make this 3 as float that is we have to make denominator as float so i will write float beside this 3 
So float is the data type in which I want to convert this three. So this bracket and inside this the name float it all is saying that this is a type casting operator and three will be converted to float. So three will be converted to 3.0 for the time being only that is temporary. So this a plus b plus a will be give me an integer answer divided by 3.0 using explicit type casting. I will get integer divided by float a float answer. So float answer will go inside average and average will be printed. So here there will be no truncation of any answer after the decimal point. My answer will come correct. So let's see. So just I will use a slash n so that answer come in the next line. So let's see. So let's say I entered 2, 5 and 12. So see this 6.33 is coming from the first average and this 6.33 is coming from the next average. So our answer is coming as correct. So now let's enter another three numbers. So let's say we enter 10, then 20 and say 22. So the average will be 43 and 43 divided by 3, I should get 17.33. So here the first average is coming from this answer and this printf is printing me this 17.33. So my answer is coming correct using implicit and explicit typecasting. And if I give some another input, let's say, say I give 1, 2, 3. So the sum of 3 to 1 is 6 and 6 by 3 is 2. So I should get simply 2.0. So yes, I am getting 2.0, 2.0 using both this printf statement. So I hope you have understood that how we can find the average of three integer numbers using implicit and explicit typecasting. If in this question we are given three float numbers, then we need not to use any implicit or explicit typecasting. Why? Because in the numerator, A, B, C will be float number. So the sum of float number will be float and float divided by, let's say any integer number, it will be float number. So our answer will come correct without using any typecasting. But here it was integer numbers. So we used implicit typecasting because in C, integer upon integer will always give me integer. And in this question, that was not giving me correct answer. So if you have any comment, query, suggestion, please write down into the comment box. And if you have liked the video, please subscribe the channel. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.